What's up, guys? Mr. Gims back again. I know, I'm back. What do you know? Uh, I'm sick, but I'm still getting there, and uh, that's why there's been a lack of content over on YouTube, apart from the shorts. Uh, so yeah, it's good to be back. There's a lot I need to catch up on in the DBD space, so I just want to go over the developer update, the updated Year 7 roadmap, uh, and things to come in the next couple of months. Uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot to unpack here, but I'll... I thought I'd do it into a little video, uh, so it's easy, easily digestible, and because uh, I get asked all the time on Twitch, so I figured we'd check it out. Speaking of Twitch, I'm live right now, over there. Click the link in the description. Love to have you there. Uh, we're doing another random perk loadout night uh, with Survivor Killer Rotation. Also, don't forget to join. If you want to become a member here, click that join button. It really does help us out. It keeps the lights on over here on YouTube. It supports myself directly. I would really appreciate it if you consider so. But anyway, let's get into it. Links are all in the description below. You guys know the crack. Let's go. So they updated the roadmap, guys. And uh, for those of you who really want to get in depth with it, uh, basically, basically, chapter 27 is coming in March. I think most people knew that already. Uh, and then we got a tome in April. So we're going to get a new killer, a new survivor, and that's what's listed. Who knows? It might be two survivors, two killers for all I know, even though I think that would be ridiculous. Um, but there you go. March, we're getting a new chapter. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I'm glad to see that they're still pushing on with this roadmap, um, year seven roadmap. And these are the things that they want to accomplish in that time. And I'd say most of all, they've done pretty good. I'd say like, I mean, obviously I'm not happy with a lot of things to do with the game right now, but Ultimately, I think they've taken a step in the right direction last year. Just that that last hump in December was really hard, in my opinion. And then we have the Blood Web Improvement, something that we've all wanted for the longest time. It's an absolute time suck being in the Blood Web and just spending those points, especially if you're trying to aim towards things like Prestige 100 and things like that. An autocomplete feature would be something I think a lot of people would be interested in. A lot of people honestly don't give a shit about what they get on the blood web most of the time, as long as they have just got all the perks and all that. But even that doesn't really matter anymore now uh, with the changes to the, you know, leveling up system, prestige system, if you will. But yeah, really good. I'm interested to see what they come up with. I hope it's not lame and it's like behaviored. That sounds so appreciative. I, I just hope they do a good job. An auto complete feature would be so sick. Um, and, and with the blood points the way they are now, I think no one's complaining. Like, everyone's got blood points now. There's no problems with blood points. Um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this one. Then we got Survivor Bot Loadouts. I mean, this is cool. This is a step in the right direction. I'm, I've always been a massive supporter of making custom lobbies more interactive and making them more interesting. Um, you know, adding extra features into them, maybe even different modes down the road if they don't want to take the risk of putting it live. Things that a lot of people mentioned in my comment section is 2v8s, you know, 7 gens, 2 gens, you know, just changing parameters of the match. I think all these things, it's great that they're trying to do this. Um, I just want to see more of it, you know what I mean? But, hey, step in the right direction, bot matches, great. Add some more customization in there and give them a custom loadout. Obviously, they say not every perk's going to be available right now. They need to learn how to, you know, make those AI more effective with those. But, hey, down the road, it's going to be good. Looking forward to it. Map repeat prevention. I got a massive, massive uh, conversation about this. Um, and it really annoys me as well. I'm going to switch to the screen, get close to you, get close to you. Um, I made a video like three or four months ago asking, is anyone else getting, you know, the same map constantly? And to, to my shock, there was so many players saying, yes, I'm getting like, you know, Mother's Dwelling three times, I'm getting the game three times. Some people are even saying I'm getting maps up to five times. Uh, and... The proof is in the pudding, as they say, and during my streams, my community would see that I'm not bullshitting. Um, I would get maps three times in a row. I mean, I know there's an increase in percentage with um, Father Campbell's right now, so I'm getting Father Campbell's a lot, but I had like Badham recently three times in a row on a stream. So boring. So indeed, behavior, variety is the spice of life. And it's great that you're kind of addressing the thing that you never said was a problem, which repeat matches have been a problem for many players. So good to see that they're finally fixing this, addressing it, letting us know that it is a thing. It kind of reminds me of the situation when they said that skill-based matchmaking isn't based on kills and survival rate, when, you know, it was. Moving along. Then we got the visual terror radius. And for those of you who aren't sort of familiar what this means, it's just giving more visual cues to people who are maybe deaf, uh, hearing impaired and things like that. These sorts of things I'm always giving a massive thumbs up for. Keep them going. 
let this game be a game that anyone with any disability or any sort of impairments can play. Visual cues and things like that, if you want to add that to the game, happy days, absolutely brilliant. That's all I have to say on that subject. And then we got the visual update, which means maps. Um, a lot of people are saying it's Mother's Dwelling because I... I have no idea, but it, it could be Mother's Dwelling. It could be Swamp. Um, what else could it be? Is there any more? Swamp. Mother's Dwelling. I feel like there's one more, and I'm just forgetting. But anyway, either or, something's being planned for a visual update. Um, I must say, while I love the visual updates and it keeps the game, you know, moving forward in 2023... Sometimes it hasn't paid off the way it should have. Um, I've noticed tiles are just getting easier and things like that. They're adding a lot of other things on the backside. Um, but, you know, Mother's Dwelling is also too big. And I want to see something like the Eerie of Crows remake. I, I know it's not a perfect, you know, sort of remake. But I want to see smaller maps. I'm sick of the large maps. I want to play Trapper and Chill. You know what I mean? And by that mean, I don't mean I want an easy game. I just want to... Play some killers that I can't usually play and have some fun with it, but that's just me. But there you go. Visual maps are coming. It's coming very soon, apparently. Perk updates. So yeah, basically with this one, bye-bye. Bye-bye <laughs> eruption. They even say here, but since we know you're about to ask, yes, one of the perks we're looking into does rhyme with shurruption. Sh sh it's a very funny joke. Yeah. I really hope this isn't just a target on eruption. I hope this is indeed just another massive meta shift. Meta shifts with online gaming is massively important important we see it with like dota 2 and other games and you know i'm sure it happens in valorant and you know what is it overwatch 2 yeah it's just a thing that happens and you know what it has been a while since we've had a uh meta shift um you know like the last one we've had but even that time frame's pretty decent if they're going to do this every couple of months like that every five months or so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm interested interested to see what they come up with. I'm also a little bit scared. I feel like perks, you know, gen perks for killers are just going to get nerfed. And the only reason why I'm negative or uh, I'm saying that is because that's all the evidence I've got to go on is is their past. And that's exactly what's happened. Um, but we'll see. Maybe we'll see a rise in, in Ruin. You know, maybe they'll fix up Ruin, make it more, make it good at all. You know what I mean? But we'll see. We'll see. I'd like to... I'm, I'm interested, but scared. Makes sense. Then we're moving into the Limited Titan Cosmetics. And this is just their lame way of explaining how doing it dirty on the community is okay. I'm not really interested in reading it for you guys. Um, it's Limited Titan Cosmetics. Yes, it'll come around in the next... So, like, if, if there's an event that releases in Halloween this year, um, during the Blighted, you know whatever it is, event, if you want to call it that, um, you know, there'll be releases on that event. And if for some reason you don't have the money at the time or can't, you know, you can't afford to spend those things, it will be limited time and you'll have to wait until the next year. So this is their, you know, in my opinion, I don't mean to be rude, but piss poor way of explaining that FOMO cosmetics are okay in gaming. I, I don't agree with them in any game. I know some people are going to put up the argument that you know, it's okay to have FOMO Cosmetics in game. It's the new way of doing things. But there's a lot of things I would suggest people to look into online on their own accounts, uh, taking advantage of certain groups, ages, and things like that. I don't like FOMO Cosmetics. Release it, have it there. We'll spend our cells, you know, you know, gladly if we have them and we want the thing enough. Uh, and I don't expect things licensed to be, you know, cost shards and things like that. I'm not an idiot. I expect it to cost money. You guys need to make your money on the back end as well. But yeah, FOMO Cosmetics, blah, blah, blah. This is how it works. You know, we're being completely transparent. I don't, I don't, yeah, I'm not going to take it. I don't care. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's what we've got from the update. I wanted to let you guys know how I felt about the things to come. Uh, some of the things I'm excited about, obviously map reworks I'm scared of and also excited about. Uh, meta shifts, always excited about that, but also scared. Blood web changes. Thank Christ they're even thinking about it. Like it's just, it's seven years. Let's, let's get an auto feature in, yeah? Um, and yeah, cool. Bot improvements, more custom game, custom lobby improvements. I'm always happy for that, man. But what do you guys think? Always happy to read your comments and answer them. You guys know I'm pretty prevalent at doing that. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more. It really does help us out. And remember, I am live on Twitch right now, so I'd love having you. Enjoy the absolute anarchy that is random loadouts and uh, survival killer rotations. But anyway, that's it from me. I love you guys, keeping you updated that I know what's going on. And I hope to see you guys in the fog over on Twitch. See you later.